Hey guys, so I'm going to dive into basically resending the first welcome email to anyone that didn't open it. But before we go into that and whatnot, I want to explain the why. So typically, like in a welcome series, um, I've noticed that the first email by far has the most opens, clicks, and revenue placed. Um, you know, in the example on my screen, this is just for people that opt into my personal newsletter, um, specifically from my Twitter bio. So and there's about 400 people from the last 30 days that opted in. I'm gonna use this kind of as an example of how you can do this as well. Um, but I really kind of wanted to take one step back. I do have a pretty helpful guide I created um, specifically on the welcome series for non-buyers for e-commerce brands. So if you haven't checked out this guide, um, hit me up for the, the link or you can go to my website and you can find it you know, up here at the top. But what is the welcome series for non-buyers at a high level? Um, essentially, it's a way to educate and nurture people that are on your list. So that way you could build trust to ultimately ask for a sale. So typically people enter your list through some kind of subscription form, whether that be a pop-up, a fly-out, or some kind of embedded form. Typically most brands have a dollar off or a percentage off offer, right? Enter your email for 10% off. Maybe it's a free shipping offer. Other times it's a content play, um, whatever it might be. You know, the more people you can acquire onto your list, the better use this welcome series for non-buyers as a way to educate them as mentioned. Typically I do about a four part welcome series. I get at any given point in time, if someone converts off of email one, email two, they'll get booted um, from the flow and say go to a post purchase. But check out this guide, right? It has a lot of really great um, info on what kind of content buckets to focus on. So for the first email, focus on welcoming people to your list, introduce your brand, say thank you, and give any kind of discount code if applicable. I kind of talked about some subject lines here, talk about when to send it, right? So for the first email, send it right away. People join your list and then they expect to receive it pretty immediately. So don't wait. Um, in this you know, example, uh, I go through kind of this welcome series that I put together for a company called Magic Spoon, which is a cereal brand. Um, so anyway, just check out this guide. It goes through a bunch of other things, um, but in this bonus insight, and this is kind of really what I'm getting to, um, you know, this is going to be the highest engaging email. And this typically is going to be the highest performing email. It might even generate more revenue than the other few emails combined potentially. Um, for this flow, for this email, you should be hitting at least 30 to 50% open rate on this first email. Some of our clients are even hitting a 70 to 80%. Again, I'm not an e-commerce brand here, um, so it's a little bit different. But for about the 400 people that have joined my list from my Twitter bio, they get a specific welcome email that has a 64% open rate. You know, a 25% click through. Um, and because I didn't want to give away, you know, any specific brands that we work with and their stats, just because I want to maintain their privacy, I just took a screenshot of one of the brands that I set this thing up for. Um, so that way you could see. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this winning first welcome series. And we're going to auto resend it to anyone that didn't open it with a new subject line. So here, right, the subject line is welcome to the fam, exclamation has, you know, 47% open rate, an 8% click through, almost a 10% conversion, and then the total of, you know, $6,630. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it wait one day. We're gonna have this split based off whether someone has opened an email or not. If they have opened that email, great. They're gonna move down to email two. If they haven't opened that email, I like to resend that to anyone, just with a different subject line. The reason you wanna send out the different subject line is if you send it with the same subject line, it's going to stack in their inbox and show that you sent it twice. Um, basically, no one's that's going to receive this email has seen the first email. So we're basically sending them another email as if they hadn't done it and they just are brand new to our list. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through how to set this up. So um, if I wanted to send a second email, right, or wanted to resend this email, we'll go through here. We'll add a time delay. Let's just go one day. Then we'll add this conditional split. So again, you know, wait one day. Add the conditional split, but in this case, what someone has done or not done, you've opened an email at least once, you know, over all the time since starting this flow, right? Um, we're gonna say probably at least once for all time, and then we're gonna go right here to message. Um, but for this, we need to pull the code of this email. So if we go over here to manage variations, we're gonna pull that code at the top. We go here, done. You also could have technically typed it in. I didn't do a very good job with my naming convention for this particular thing, so it might be a little bit confusing, but we'll go message. 
We'll type in the code here, and you can see that code brought up the title of this email. We'll save. So if someone has opened this email at least once, then they'll go down the yes path. So they'll receive a unique welcome email too. However, if they did not open that, I'm just gonna go over here. I'm gonna clone this. Go over here on the no side. And, um, you know, I'll just change this to something like resend of series one. And then I have to go in and just change both these subject lines so they're not the exact same, again, as this one. So we can literally go here, welcome to, my list, right? Again, if we're running an A-B test, I gotta change this one to well, welcome, you know, you're, you're in, right? You're confirmed, whatever we wanna say. So we'll, we'll do that, right? So that takes you from here to wait one day, have the split, then we're gonna add a time delay again right here at the very bottom. So we're gonna clone this, add this here, and then what we'll do is, you know, We'll pretend that this is a unique email. We'll go here, right? And then we'll just drag this um, across like that. So that's kind of a little secret and trick. Again, um, you can see that this first email did super well. Um, we were able to squeeze an additional $2,000 in revenue and some pretty decent engagement from that same email. Again, that first email prints money, um, do that same type of thing and drop people into welcome emails two, three, and four. I typically don't do this for any other emails in the welcome flow other than this one, just because the engagement's so high. But we do this for you know dozens and dozens of our brands, and it, depending on the size, adds anywhere from an extra five hundred dollars all the way up to you know tens of thousands of dollars, depending on the size and depending on how much revenue this initial email does. Um, so hope that was helpful. That's kind of my trick of the week, my tip of the week.